Welcome to Frankenstein at our YouTube channel, Ask Frank 15. Today, we're going to talk about JSON loads versus JSON load. JSON load is for loading a JSON string from a file as a dictionary into the current program. JSON loads is for taking a JSON string and making it a dictionary in the current program. So the most important thing to remember is JSON and load and JSON dump are both for working with files. So let's look in at loads and load in a little more detail. So we import JSON and we're going to take this dictionary farm animals and we're going to do a printout of the dictionary. We're going to look at what type it is. It starts off as a dictionary and then we're going to make it using JSON dumps into a string just so we can demo JSON loads. And uh, after that, we look at the result of using JSON loads. It makes it into a dictionary. And then we access uh, animals. We access the uh, values using one of the keys to demo that's in fact a, a dictionary. After that, we use JSON load. And with JSON load, we access some of the, uh, the data from the dump lesson. Uh, in a file called trash bin.json and we load the contents of that using json load once we've done that then we use a get method a dictionary method to demo that it's actually now a dictionary so the difference between json loads and json load is json load is for loading a json string from a file into a dictionary in the current program. And JSON loads is for working with data that's not file related. So something that's that's coming into the application like streaming in. If you're working with a file, use JSON load. If you're working with a file, use JSON dump singular. So now let's run this and look at the result. So for JSON loads, we have our dictionary called animals. And in that we have a list of, uh, we have chicken, dog, horse, and cow. Uh, the farm animals start as a dictionary, which we see here with type. And then it becomes a string using JSON dumps. And we see here it's a string. Now it becomes a dictionary because we've used JSON and loads. Finally, we access the animals value using the get method and we get chicken dog horse cow then with json load we use it to open a file trash bin .json, and we load its contents as a dictionary in this program this is the dictionary we dumped into a file from our video on json dump versus json dumps if you recall we had a dumpster dive dictionary or portion of a dictionary and then uh, the other one was and that was things we were going to keep. And the other one was stuff we were actually going to send to the trash, which was uh, bad stuff here. And now we can access the values because it's a dictionary in uh, trashy things, which is where I stored the uh, dictionary I loaded with JSON load. And we get fruit, eggs, chicken. So just remember JSON load, JSON dump are for files.